this is the energy vibration reading for the Pisces um, Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you to all the Pisces thank you um, for the wonderful support likes and shares please remember to listen to the Sun Moon and Rising sign okay um, this is um, the last week of April and um, the week begins from the 23rd until the 29th um, the energy of the week is Wheel of Fortune with the um, zodiac energy of the hurt. So let's see what is happening for you, Pisces. So on Monday, you guys have a situation at work. Okay, it could be at work, but it could be um, with a legal situation. Um, but it, it it could be with an, another group of people. But it's a situation with work for the people who are not working. Is that you have a situation with a hospital with the insurance company whatever but um, there is a situation where you have to connect with a group of men so on Tuesday you have the energy of the Empress Empress and this is obviously a situation that has to do with your materialistic um, thing on Wednesday you have the energy of the seven of cups um, you're going to realize that there are more opportunities out there for you Thursday the ten of ones ending to a situation okay so obviously there was a situation that you were dealing with whether it was with the hospital for the people who are not working or whether it was with a company uh, something that injustice happened or that sort of a thing um, let's see what's happening on Friday um, you're thinking you're thinking you're looking inwards for inner guidance okay inner guidance Saturday you have a situation the ten of Pentacles isn't that wonderful and then on a Sunday you have the energy of the Queen of Pentacles on Sunday okay so let's see so here we are um, so you guys have the energy of the five of Pentacles you felt as if hardship for some of you some of you could be financial hardship some of you it is just as if you felt as if you're left out in the cold some of you felt as if you know um, there are people who are just working against you whatever the situation is it's as if people are working against you in that sort of a situation and some of you ladies or um, there is an end to a situation um, with you guys if you're over the age of 40 and you have been in a conflicting situation with the with an um, an um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person um, that situation has come to an end so if you're a lady over the age of 40 and you have been having conflicts in a situation with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this is now this is now come to an end okay so let's look at the situation let's see what exactly is a transpiring with the situation let's see what is happening in the situation okay because obviously there are things that is happening for some people who are working I, I think there is um, you're worried about your company whether or not they are going to be um, um, you know leaving people behind or dropping off people and you're thinking how am I going to deal with this it's all about your materialistic it's all about you surviving it's all about survival key and it's as if you realize that your company is not going to make it or something like that and it's as, it's as if a lot of you are talking about this and you realize that you need to find another back it in. it's as if you need you realize that the um, the the rug is about to pull out from under your feet and you are worried about this and this is it people I've always said it don't worry because um, when you work in a company that means that you're um, you're working at commas with certain people and if it's the end of, you know just take it and move on that's it okay let's see what is happening with the organization and the you have the eye princess so obviously um, what you're thinking um, is the information that is coming um, via your via your 
your intuition is as if your spirit guides is letting you know that this company or is a situation with this company so you need to start looking for new work okay um, so it's as if they're giving you ads up okay and this is why you're thinking about it if it is a, a situation where you're not working and you're dealing with an organization it could be a school it could be college or something you, you you're thinking about moving on and this is good because then you will find the energy to go and find something else there's going to be a judgment call in the beginning of the week and this judgment call I'm not seeing a hand but the judgment call is as if get yourself ready because it's time to move on okay it's as if you're realizing that not enough work is coming in your salary hasn't paid out yet and that sort of a thing that there's obviously a financial situation that is going on and that sort of a thing so um, this is a judgment call okay let's see what is happening with the Empress and the seven of cups so you're balancing out your um, financial situation and your emotion what is happening here and what is transpiring here is that you know that something is about um, to come to an end with a group and here you're trying to balance out your emotional self um, you have the energy of the eight of one so um, what this is saying is that a lot of information is going to be coming at you at how you can manifest more money in your life because um, it's as if 10 of Pentacles and information so it could be um, a new offer with a lot of money is coming in but it can be that um, because the seven of cups is here so it is saying basically your guys and angels are saying there are so many other things that you can do um, so don't get stuck on the one thing because you can make a lot of money think out of the box it is basically saying think out of the box because you can make a lot of money okay think out of the box because you can make a lot of money um, if you're in a relationship with someone who's a uh, um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, financially they are going to be going to be okay financially they are going to be okay because here is the situation of um, the ten of Pentacles beside them that means they are going to be financially um, balanced out okay let's see what is happening for the seven of cups and the ten of wands you have a strong foundation you have a strong foundation and this is a, sometimes we create these on call for thinking in our ads um, if the company is going down that that doesn't really mean that you are going to be going down with the company it could be that you know a new door of opportunity is going to be opening up for you and you're having this dome gloomy thinking of what is going to be happening stop do this people because this is what you draw to yourself let it come at you start preparing yourself okay I see that you know the company is not afloat or the situation that I'm in with this group is not afloat let me look for another group let me look for another situation let me um, go and see if I can uh, how can I solve this issue and then move on because there's a lot of opportunities that you're not seeing there's a lot of money that you can you could be making but you're not seeing this because you're bound and bound for a nine-to-five job that you know that you receive your salary at the end of the month and they're saying to you is that there you have a strong foundation there's a lot of more opportunities out there for you okay The king of wands some of you have a situation to deal with the king of wands if you had a situation with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that affect you and your partner that is an Taurus Virgo or Capricorn it has now come to an end it has now come to an end okay so there is a judgment call there is a judgment call and this judgment call information is going to be coming at you over the king of wands you have a strong foundation and um, whatever the situation that has transpired between you and this king of one and your partner if your partner is an 
a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whatever the situation that has transpired between you and the king of ones and your partner has now come to an end and you have a strong foundation okay you have a strong foundation then we have the energy of the five of cups there are some regrets and this is it you're having this dome some idea here and all these regrets that is happening and I'm not seeing an ending I am not seeing an end there is no ending it is just that you have you you, you place yourself the situation with your work or the situation with um, whatever these people are a group of people or the situation that you're dealing with as if a dome it's going to come to an end but that's not what is basically going to happen because there's nothing that is ending here it's just that you need to think out of the box you feel as if you're out in the cold and it's you know it's hard and and that sort of a thing but you're creating all of this in your head outcomes is help is going to be there for you okay help is going to be there for you it's as if this um, queen whoever the Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person is is you know there is going to be help coming for you um, you ladies um, whatever the situation is that you and your partner has been going through with someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, it has now come to an end, and now it's as if the sun, the universe, is bringing um, new positive energy. There's an healing that is coming for the situation, and this it's a situation has actually come to an end. Listen to your intuition. You're going to be receiving a lot of intuition of um, how you can make things work. Um, uh, how um, I, it's, it's as if um, your guides and angels are going to inform you of new opportunities and new things that you can do to uh, manifest money. It's, it's it's like a week where a lot of information, intuition, intuition is going to come in. A lot of information is going to come in. You are building up this dome thing, the, the, the end of something. You feel yourself. But it's all in your head so get out of your head listen to your guides and angels because all they're saying to you is prepare yourself for the worst okay this is what they're saying prepare yourself for the worst so that means go look for something else before it comes to that okay but and they're saying there's a lot of new opportunities out there a lot of new opportunities you have a strong foundation you're not believing enough in yourself and that is the problem you need to believe in yourself because there's a lot of opportunities out there um, whatever the situation that you're dealing with someone who is an, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you have a strong foundation over this person there's a lot of help that is coming in and there is going to be positive help that is going to be there for you at the end of the day with this in the reverse everything is going to be okay so this is what I'm saying to you you just have the all these dumb scenarios in your head everything is going to be okay so let's see see success success is going to come to you sometimes people sit in these doom jobs that they go the same thing and the same thing and the universe is trying to say it's time that you move on because if you move on and make a new choice success is going to be coming into you and this is what is happening for you Pisces this is what the universe is saying to you okay so thank you for being here I will speak to you next month just have a wonderful week get out of your head bye